tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Introduce me. When I was a kid, I was a bit of a bookworm. So parang any kinds of books that I'd find at home, I'd really, you know, wow. devour, so to speak. And then devour. I discovered devour. <laughs> I discovered my dad's comic book stash. But I was like almost six years old and not this comic book stash and it was a no Death of Superman. Oh it was rare. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh it's also oh, read that. Not in that rare. <laughs> not in that yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. It's like um it's like my dad because when I started off as well, it was because of my dad. I and up with that. Because um, before I had anything else, um, I was introduced to characters. So prior to Batman, I had the Shadow, which was my favorite character. Then after that, when I learned that Bob King created Batman, I was a bit intrigued. So when I read the comics, it's kind of similar to the Shadow, but with a little more twist. So um, when I started off, I was already reading several other graphic novels of the Batman. So. I had Harvest Breed. Um, we also had um, Death in the Family, of course. That's one of the most controversial graphic novels I've had. And at the same time, um, you also have The Blackest Night, which was from the Green Lantern. So because of those universes, it got me into it, especially Constantine, Hellblazer. It's really awesome. <laughs> DC character, no well, it, well, now it's Wonder Woman, but and, but also this was before, but when I moved, actually before I moved here, I was writing for a newspaper, tapos oh. my dad didn't like me writing, so okay. I had home, I, the, the name that I used in pen name was Wonder Woman talaga ever since then, because she was the, the first kind of, you know, the someone I could relate to more than the other Sikat girls of that time, so talagang, you know, she's strong and she's got dark hair and like, you know, I, I loved, I loved her look, basically. So since then, kaya yung handle ko sa Instagram ay little Miss Wonder Woman. Even my blog is uh -oh. Wonder Woman talaga. Uh -oh. yes, I saw Even that. before the Wonder Woman. Yon. I really did. I mean, I didn't like when it came out in the cinemas. I didn't hate it, but I also didn't like it as much as I liked this cut. Totoo. Mm -mm. Iba yung feeling Parang, the first one. Mas na-appreciate ko yung characters dito eh. Sobra. And we're gonna be mm -hmm. talking about that. My other thought that I've seen is that um, it brought more um, characters to life. Because um, not only did they um, show the background of the character itself, but um, how they became them. Because in the oh. Joss Whedon version, we were like um, looking at the uh, similarity between the Avengers because in the Avengers so um, it was more of situational but with the Justice League Snyder Cut it's a bit different because not only is it um, inspirational but at the same time it showed um, more of the human characteristics of each character True. and it, it became more relatable because um, if you were to um, go through the Dawn of Justice um, I suggest if you're going to enter this universe as well, you start off with the Man of Steel. Then after that, you go to um, uh, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Extended then, cut. Yes, the extended cut. Extended cut. cut. Then Para take it from um, a bit of the Suicide Squad part. Yeah. Because Actually, um, there's I, I a certain like portion it. with the kind Suicide. Of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. Then you also have um, Birds of Prey. I think. Like... Diba when you start watching it, parang yun, dun, dun yung, ano, yun, dapat may impact ka na talaga eh. I think that's exactly. where we don't kind of fail, uh, for me anyway. Like, exactly. The Whedon version wasn't, I don't know. And also yun nga awkward yung Photoshop. <laughs> Sobra. You know, ito ah, fun pa. Dun magsiset. Parang I think Snyder was trying to set a certain tone. Uh, hindi ko rin ma-explain eh, pero it felt really, it felt powerful in some point. Di ba, Josh? Mm -hmm. Actually, with this sila. one kasi, it's a song ano, of, ano, of departing, ano, departing loved ones. Kasi it's keep their loved ones safe. Eh. That, that's in their culture. 
And I can totally relate to that. Yeah. Ito, toto, next, Stephen Wolf naman tayo. Especially since, you know, MCU and Thanos are kind of big. And I'm going in the comics, he kind of looks like Thanos. Eh. Diba? Diba? That's diba? true. That's true. <laughs> Tama yun. Because he was purple and the eh, um, uh, Navy. It was my favorite scene, personally. Oh, yes. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.